The sound of about 70 motorbikes shatters the quiet of a windswept Andean plain in Bolivia as Aymara villagers conduct a frenetic chase to round up wild vicunas for shearing. Every two years, about 100 men and women from Ucha Ucha come together for the biennial vicuna shearing, which lasts four days. The community makes an offering to Mother Earth before the motorcycles herd the animals into a corral made with sticks and netting, where the vicunas are held for about five hours before they are released. They harvest the animal's fine fur, which produces one of the world's most expensive wools. This is our industry, the vicuna. We've been doing it for 10 years. It's a renewable resource. It's not like gold. Gold isn't renewable. That's why we don't have a mine in our community here. Ucha Ucha residents say they made about 300 US dollars per family in the last shearing in 2011 and expect to make about the same this year. We don't shear them every year because the wool isn't thick enough. It has to be 3.2 denier of fibre, so that's why we shear them every two years. Two men hold each vicuna down while another shears its fur. With luck, they can gather 40 kilograms of wool in a day. The fibre is highly prized by the world of fashion and has been used to make suits for movie stars like Daniel Craig and tycoons such as Donald Trump. Vicunas were once hunted to near extinction, but now hunting them is forbidden and the Aymara shear and release the animals. The vicuna population has rebounded. While llamas and alpacas have been domesticated, the vicunas still live in the wild.